Hey, what is good, everyone? This is Cox Gammon Ford of the Gamepreneur, and you are back to another episode of anything that we can restore here regarding gaming stuff. Absolutely, it's a steal on this one right here, the one that you can see on the screen right now, because this one is really a cheap but damage. That's why we're going to restore it. Now, uh, the problem with this is the LCD itself. It's damaged. So, by the way, the what is this? It's a portable monitor for gaming console. Uh, if you are familiar with the brand Games, that spells out G-A-E-M-S. And this is the model number G155. I think this is one of the first generation of this portable device. And what it can do is you can bring your console, let's say your Xbox, uh, from PS4, Xbox, even 360, PS3, even PS5. I think I have a video which I show everyone that a PS5 can fit on this attach, like an uh, attach case uh, bag, which has a built-in monitor inside. Now, the problem with this particular games portable is there is a damage it's like right here on this part area you, you will see a crack once i do some testing okay so without any further ado let's do it let's do some tests we're gonna open that up i'm not gonna put any lights so you can see it better so there we go so we got the power on and it should be turning on once i press the power button and we have to wait almost there okay so it looks like it's not turning on but just give me a second let me just do something quick and here we go as you can see on the screen right now that's how the damage looks like and uh, i think something pointed or maybe a pen that struck the screen right over here let's go a little closer on the camera okay let me check okay so yeah that's good enough to show you guys so let's go to the other part of the screen so you can see it's all damage on every corner right there okay so the only solution for this is not to repair the screen i'm not that <laughs> no that is not a suggestion or a recommendation to everyone because uh, it's really hard to repair this and sometimes or most of the time it's a, disp a disposable uh, monitor or uh, a screen so we're going to replace it with a new one so i'm gonna order it probably it will take me like five to seven days but for this video, it will just take you seconds, okay? So just hang on tight and let me show you the screen that I purchased. Okay, guys, so welcome back. So probably uh, the first or the next question, I mean, is well, is how do we disassemble this? Okay, so at first you need those tools. Uh, you need a T6 Torx. 
it looks like a uh, star with a six pointed on each side kind of like this right here no no that's that's a phillips number one by the way okay so you need a phillips okay okay the camera and then uh, that's the cross and then for the t61 i just want to show it on the camera on camera so you guys know what a t6 looks like it's more like this okay so it has a it's like a star that has six instead of uh, four it has six sides and you will need that t6 screwdriver and a regular phillips number one means it's this a little smaller than the regular one that you use at home okay so at first step we just need to remove the logo okay i'm just going to show the picture on the screen okay so in front of the logo this is what i'm talking about of course you need some plastic to scrape this so this one holds in the bag with just the regular glue and a sticker so it's really sticky at first if it's the first time removing it and then uh, once you remove that it will reveal a four uh, t6 screw and i'm just gonna show you i have to remove the lcd right now okay i already uh, already removed this prior because i wanted to show you guys a more a more details a more detailed uh, steps okay so by the way the steps that I, what i'm doing right now is the reference on the ifixit.com uh, it's a website if you google that it will probably recommend you to do those steps and it comes with the pictures that you just have to follow that and just you know just the usual be careful uh, you have to unplug everything while you're doing this uh removing of the screen okay so going back at first step you need to remove the four screws right here so it will be at the front the screws at the front holding the lcd so one two three four once you remove that the lcd will not be easily removed okay so there are more screws coming so you need to remove next will be the sticker plate that holds the screen in front okay so this is it this is the this black framing here okay i'm just going to show you on the camera okay so you can see i can remove it easily now because i've already done that prior to this video okay so all you need is a plastic scraper just be careful um well it's it's a it's going to be a replaced screen so probably yeah you can do some more effort from here more force coming from inside going upwards and just start peeling it off carefully okay so this one can be fold easily by forcing it that will be a damage and it looks terrible if you fold it it's like a film it's a it's a thick plastic but I know it can be fold by accidental force, okay, when you applied it. Now, guys, once you remove that, it will reveal a six screw on the sides. So going back to the case, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and that is a Phillips, okay, so it's back to the Phillips screw. You have the screwdriver remove this six of those and then there is hidden here okay i hope that can be shown on the camera okay it's right here okay yeah it's on the screen so seven seven screws and i think this is let me just count it so two four six eight ten ten okay so 
we have 10 Phillips screws. I think this one is included right here. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And where is the rest? Let me double check that one for you. Okay. thousand years later all right guys so i've double checked it kind of sorry forgot the how many screws are in there so let's just put the light to show you clearly okay so there is a three on the sides right here and then uh, two on the top of the screen right here and then uh, from the outer for the outer case you know that the one that holds the plastic it's it has two so total of six plus four is equals to ten okay so that's why i'm kind of uh, confused a little bit on there so yep and those are phillips okay the only t6 will be the four from outside um the logo part okay so once you remove that the hard part will be removing the clip okay so there are six clip clips that holds the plastic holder of the lcd so just be careful uh it have it has to be because it holds that way so you need to gently or get some plastic thing that you can uh poke there is a uh there is a a space a little bit of space there that you can put some plastic scraper or plastic thing that can uh, hold the plastic going out on the, or on the outer part of the screen okay so or the, the bag itself so the force of the clip will be going in so you need to force it gently going out sideways okay so there are six clips that you need to poke and if i were you just go on the the first side pick a side left or right and then follow on the next side okay so once you remove that you will we will go and look at the screen that we're, we need to replace okay what particular model so how i choose how i um, we're going to talk about it okay so let's go guys so welcome back before i close this or return the lcd i just want to uh correct the uh, screws so this one has no function the six on this side both side has no screw so it just have a clip the main screw will be on the top two of those and another two at the bottom so that will hold the lcd and also at the outer shell you're just gonna screw it from the back from the front going to the plastic that holds the LCD okay so we're good 
all right guys so moment of truth before we close this and return it to the bag we have to double check if i properly connected the pin and just the pin the 40 it's a it's a 40 pin ribbon that i already connected i tried to use captain tape but it's not working so i tried to just solder it back just like before just the default it was soldered so just a little bit on both sides of the pin now here we go moment of truth guys i'm a little nervous because there is no refund on the lcd if you know what i'm talking about here we go so the power is uh, the standby power is lit up so that's a good sign so let me press this one and here we go we're waiting for the g okay so it lights up and there is the g okay all right so the logo is in there the led the function buttons will not work if you don't have any uh input okay so that's okay all good and then that's it let's return it to the bag properly here we go